name is Dr. Darling. Very nice to meet you. So, I hear that you're not feeling very well. And that's your reason for coming in today? Let me just go ahead and take a look at all your information and your charts. Let me just confirm some things. Can you tell me your name? Great. How old you are? Okay. Um, any previous medical history of with your family, like heart attacks, cancer? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know we already got this information, but I just want to confirm it all with you before we move on. Um, so can you tell me what's wrong? Like, how are you feeling? Mm-hmm. You have a sore throat. And the nurse recorded a temperature of 101.9. So you have a fever. Have you been coughing at all? Slight cough? Okay, okay. Anything else? You have a shortness of breath? Okay, that's very important. Thank you so much for bringing that up. And I saw that you said you haven't been to China in the past three weeks. Okay, so you, that's a no. Well, I'm sorry that you're feeling that way. Um, right now, um, we're going to do a basic checkup on you, just to, you know, make sure everything's all right. Um, I washed my hands when I walked in here, but I'm also going to wash them again before putting on my gloves. So, excuse me one moment while I do that. So first, I am going to listen to your heartbeat. All you need to do is just relax and breathe deeply when I tell you to. Okay, and breathe in. And breathe out. Again, please. Very, very good. One more time on the front. Very good. I'm just going to go around the back. Breathe in again. One more time. Okay. That was a great job. Um, I do kind of hear your shortness of breath. Your heartbeat sounds really good. Um, but I see what you mean by your breathing. Next, I'm going to take your blood pressure. I'm just 
going to strap this around your arm. Tighten it. Okay. And now I'm just going to look in your ear. Well, first, before we do that, I want you to follow the light. So just follow the light. Very good. And now I'm going to check your, your ears. And I have a fresh, clean dispenser. Just look into your ear. Just on the outside, now I'm going to work my way on the inside. Okay. Now on this ear, just going to look around the outside. Now I'm going to make my way on the inside. Very good. Very good. Now I want you just to open your mouth. Take this off. Dispose of it. Now please open your mouth. I'm going to look at the back of your throat. Just go, ah. Okay. 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 I'm just going to put on some gloves now.
And I'm just going to be feeling around your neck and your chest and shoulder area. Does this hurt? Does it feel tender? Okay. I'm just going to write down a few notes. Okay. So we will be doing a few tests on you. The first one we are going to do is the strep throat test to see if you have strep throat. And the way this will work is if you don't have strep throat, we are going to go ahead and test you for a some kind of bacterial infection in your lungs. Um, and then after that, if they both come back negative, we are going to test you for the coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, so the next, you just have to, the next few steps, you just have to be patient. Don't overwork yourself. Um, so let's do the tests. I have them right here, and they are simple tests. Let me put on a new set of gloves. I have one glove on. Open your mouth, and I'm just going to take a swab of the back of your throat. Let's open up wide for me. Very good, very good. So we're going to test for the bacterial infection. I'm going to do the same exact thing. So open your throat very, very wide. Or your mouth, I mean. And your throat. Very good. Good, good, good. So I'm going to go send these two tests from the lab, and you can just wait here and relax, listen to some music. I'll be right back. Okay, so you tested negative for both any kind of bacterial infection in your chest and strep throat. So the next step in this process would be to test you for the coronavirus, and we are going to take a swab of the back of your throat again, 
And we're also going to take a swab of the inside of your nose. Let me put on a glove for this. And please don't be worried. Um, there will be a lot of people here to help you in this process, whether you test negative or positive. The chances of testing positive really aren't that high. But, of course, don't dismiss the idea. Okay, so open your mouth, please. Thank you. Very good, very good. And next, I'm going to do the inside of your nose. Just sit there normal. This won't hurt at all. It'll be like a nice little cleaning. Okay. Now my nurse here is going to, thank you Cindy, is going to send these in for testing. And while we wait, I am going to explain some, um, just some different uh, myth busters of the coronavirus. So let me get out my tablet. Before I do that, I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, now that I have washed my hands, I am going to show you some of the mythbusters of the coronavirus. So, some of the things I will be reviewing with you. Here they are. So I think it's even whether you test negative or positive, it is good for anyone to know all of these facts um, because there is a lot of panic about the coronavirus right now. Um, and it's important that we establish what is fact and what is not true, what is a myth. So I'm going to review some of these things with you, just for your own knowledge as well. There is no reason to believe that cold weather can kill the new coronavirus or other diseases. The normal human body temperature remains at 37 degrees Celsius regardless of the external temperature or weather. The most effective way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is by frequently cleaning your hands with alcohol-based hand, hand rub or washing them with soap and water. So, as you know, I've washed my hands about three times since we've met. Um, and that's because that is the most effective way to protect yourself from diseases, not just the coronavirus, but any kind of illnesses or diseases. So fact, cold weather and snow cannot kill the new coronavirus. on her twice. So this one, taking a hot bath does not prevent the new coronavirus disease. Just like with the, the last one, your body remains at 36 to 37 degrees Celsius regardless of the temperature of your bath or your shower. Actually, taking a hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful as it burns you. And once again, the best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by frequently cleansing your hands. 
And this one, the new coronavirus cannot be transmitted through goods manufactured in China or any other coronavirus cases. Even though the new coronavirus can stay on surfaces for a few hours or up to several days, it is very unlikely that the virus will persist on a surface after being moved, traveled, and exposed to different conditions and temperatures. If you think a surface may be contaminated, use a disinfectant to clean it. After touching it, clean your hands with an alcohol-based rub or wash them with soap and water. So, this doesn't even apply to, you know, stuff that's being shipped in um, from China or other places. Uh, you should definitely keep your surfaces clean in your house. You don't know what kind of diseases or any uh, illnesses will be on them to spread throughout your house. So, always just use uh, cleansing wipes and make sure to wash them. Just keep it clean. The new coronavirus cannot be tr transmitted through mosquito bites. And that's a huge, huge stigma that a lot of these diseases travel through mosquito bites. I mean, diseases travel through many, many ways. Uh, mosquito bites can be one of them, but uh, the probability of that is very low. To date, there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. Um, the new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. So, to protect yourself, wash your hands. That's what it says after every single one of these. Are hand dryers effective in killing the new coronavirus? No, hand dryers are not effective in killing the new coronavirus. So yeah, once your hands are cleaned after you wash them, you should dry them thoroughly by using paper towels or a warm air dryer. Um, it will definitely not kill any bacteria on your hands. Can an ultraviolet disinfectant lamp kill the new coronavirus? UV lamps should not be used to sterilize hands or other areas of skin as UV radiation can cause skin irritation, which is very, very true. So, yeah. I know this seems kind of obvious, but some people have their bright ideas. How effective are thermal scanners in detecting people infected with the new coronavirus? Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who have developed a fever because of infection with the new coronavirus. And so basically it can't detect the coronavirus, it has to be a certain test. Can spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body kill the new coronavirus? Definitely not. I know, like I said, it seems obvious a lot of these, but you never know what certain people will think. Um, and you gotta just spread basic facts. No, spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. And it can also be harmful to you. So don't do that. Wash your hands. Can pets at home spread the new coronavirus? At present, there is no evidence that companion animals slash pets such as dogs or cats can be infected with the new coronavirus. However, it is always a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after contact with pets. So basically, wash your hands a lot. Anytime you think you've come into contact with something dirty, just wash your hands. After going out in public, come home and wash your hands. Do vaccines protect... Do vaccines against pneumonia protect you against the coronavirus? No, they don't. Um... So don't think that just because you have your updated shots that you were protected against a new virus. Um, that's just silly. So if you really do think you need to get yourself tested, which you are, which is amazing. Thank you for coming in. Can regularly rinsing your nose with saline help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? No, there's no evidence regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from the infection. So now with that. Can eating garlic help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? Garlic is a healthy food that may have some antimicrobial properties. However, 
Lastly, there is no evidence from the current outbreak that eating garlic has protected people from the new coronavirus. So that's debunked. And that is all. Oh, there's a couple more. Does the new coronavirus affect older people or are younger people also susceptible? People of all ages can be infected by the new virus. So don't think if you have a very strong immune system that you're easily protected. Anyone can get it. So yeah. And that is all for our myth debunking. Um, I'm going to go check on your test results now. So, we tested you for the coronavirus, and you tested positive for it. Please stay calm. I need to ask you a few questions before we move on with the next steps. Have you come into contact with anyone in the, uh, in the, since you've been feeling ill? In the past two weeks? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need their name, their numbers, um, just their name and their numbers. Two, four, five. Okay. Anyone else? So, we're going to contact these people immediately. Um, and I suggest that you contact them as well if you can. Um, and let them know what's happening. Um, we are going to fly you out to a private hospital that is un going to be under quarantine for coronavirus patients. And we are also, while you're there, they will ask you what treatment you would like to participate in. They do have some clinical trial treatments where they are using something called from Devazir to um, treat patients with the coronavirus. Um, and it's been working for some, but they're still it's under trial. Um, and also while you're there, they will be doing anything they can to help alleviate your symptoms, such as fever, um, your cough. I am going to go ahead and Tell the nurse that you're ready to be flown out to quarantine. I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. It's such an unlucky situation. No one wants this to happen. But with your age and your strong immune system, I'm sure you'll, you'll beat this. It was nice meeting you. I wish the best of luck to you. Goodbye.